welcome back to my channel. So today we are playing with some new Pat McGrath goodies from her holiday collection. I went ahead and picked up one of her quads as well as one of her blush and highlight trios. We're going to be testing them out today for you guys. I'm going to be doing live swatches on my arm as well as applying them so you can see them in action on this face right here. Before we get started, don't forget to upload every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday for you guys. If you like this video while you're watching it, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel out. And out of that, if you're excited and you want to see some first impressions on the new Pat McGrath Holiday Collection, then let's go ahead and get started. I also have her larger uh, Celestial Odyssey, I think, palette coming to me in the mail. I wasn't going to pick it up, but then I saw quite a few reviews on how stunning and gorgeous it is. And also one of my friends on Instagram, her name is Melissa, she ended up giving me a friends and family code. So I was able to shop the friends and family Sephora sale. I didn't think I was going to be able to do so and then she gave me a code. So I've got that coming to me along with a Makeup by Mario new lipstick, but that's not Pat McGrath. So today what we are focusing on is the quad and the trio that I picked up. <sighs> okay. <sighs> I'm excited, I'm excited, but let's talk about the quad first. So first of all, first, before we talk about anything, the packaging on this is absolutely beautiful. I am not someone who really gets hyped about packaging. I mean, it's cool if something looks pretty on the outside, but it really is more about the inside. But this is just absolutely stunning. Like beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love this. But the quad is just a normal, typical, like black lacquer sort of um, packaging that it normally has. I ended up picking up the Celestial Odyssey Luxe Quad in Bronze Borealis. Borealis, I think is how you pronounce that. It says Pat McGrath Labs on the front. When you open it up, it looks like this. So I got this in the mail. I was super excited. Of the two quads, this was definitely the one that was a little bit more my color story, one that I thought I would use a little bit more. The other one had a blue that I just didn't think I would use. And this was $54. I did get 10% off off Pat's website. She had a code. So, but I mean, that's really not that much money. You know what I mean? Okay. When I first opened this, I was like, beautiful, but are these pans smaller? Are these pans smaller than her normal quads? So I have my other quad here. This is the only other quad by Pat McGrath that I own. This is her Venus and Fleurs Luxe Quad Voyeuristic Vixen. So this was one that came out a few months ago. Um, I'm not sure. It was her Venus and Fleurs collection that came out with her blushes if you can see the pans are definitely way smaller in this quad than this one which i went back and looked on the pat mcgrath website and if you are really looking for it you can see in the pictures that this is smaller and i'm sure if i would have looked at the actual amount per shadow i would have known they were smaller but i didn't look at that and i wasn't looking that closely at the pictures so i'm just like a little bummed that these are a little bit smaller pans also this is a very similar color story like so similar i didn't think they were going to be that similar i thought they were going to look alike but i feel like these are almost identical but this one is just less fancy because this has like that like duochrome shifty one that goes from like cranberry to gold so i i don't know i haven't swatched this i haven't done anything with it obviously um but i was just when i opened it up I was a little disappointed, I'm not gonna lie, in the pan size and the fact that these are so close together. Was that my fault for ordering this when I already owned this? Yes, but this just came out a few months ago and then this is obviously out now. So it's like, why release two eyeshadow palettes that are so similar? I don't know, maybe, I mean, I don't know, I don't know. Anyways, also, I feel like this holiday collection packaging is just not as luxe as this one. This one just feels a little bit heavier. It just feels a little bit nicer. Even though on camera they look exactly the same, in person you can feel the weight and just the plastic. And I don't know, I just feel like this is a tiny bit less luxe. This was $58, this was $54. But I feel like for the packaging difference and the size difference of the pans, this shouldn't have been only $4 cheaper, if that makes sense. So. I'm a little bummed about that, but that's okay. The trio though, I am super, super excited about. It has the matching packaging as the like outer unicarton that it comes in. So I just think that's really cool. I feel like Pat doesn't do a ton of these sort of packaging. A lot of the times it is that like plain black lacquer, but, oh, I had that upside down the whole time. No, I didn't, no, I didn't, I'm good. <laughs> so when you open it up, I ended up getting the lighter one because that would definitely match my skin tone a little bit better. So this is called her Divine Blush and Glow Trio and I got Galactic Sun. So with this, you get the shade Divine Rose, Desert Orchid, and Golden Nectar. 
So if you are not new here, then you know that, let me get it out, my Pat McGrath blush right here in the shade Flirtatious is one of my favorite blushes I have ever used in my life. It is just chef's kiss. Stunning, beautiful, love it so much. So when she came out with this trio and I was able to pick up two more shades of the blush formula that I love, plus a highlight, I was like, yeah, I'm going for that. I've never tried Pat McGrath highlights before. And just to get two more shades of the blushes, I was excited. I am hoping it's the same quality as her single blushes. We shall see. Let's go ahead and do swatches. All right, so I'm gonna start up here with this shade right here, and this is called Lunar Legend. Okay, so that is very beautiful. I really like that shade. It's actually a little bit more gold than I was anticipating from the pan, but it is a really, really pretty shade. Next up here, we have Sienna Rose. Okay, again, very, very beautiful. I don't think either one of these are super unique to my collection, but it is a very pretty shade. Then the only matte in the quad here is called Mink Dust. So let's swatch this. Okay, that's a very pretty shade, obviously a little crumbly, but it's a really nice, just beautiful, mauve pinky, rosy sort of tone that is really pretty, like the, all the other ones. And then lastly here we have Cyber Bronze. This feels really thick, but that is, uh, that's really pretty. That is probably the most reflective of the four, or I guess three shimmers. So yeah, I I don't know. I'm just a little bit bummed by this, but again, I think it's because it's so similar to the quad I already own, and I just don't think these are super unique to my collection, and also it's just, I, I don't know. I don't know. The pan's being smaller, so we're going to test it out on the face, on the eyes, before I judge it too, too hard. So let's let's start applying. So I did go ahead and prime my eyes like I normally do with my MAC Paint Pot and then set it with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder. We are gonna start off with the matte right here, which again is Mink Dust, right? Mink Dusk. I'm sorry, I think I called it Mink Dust earlier, but it's dusk, like at nighttime. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Ooh, okay, there was a ton of kick up in the pan with that. Holy moly, that was intense. I was not expecting that at all. So let's put this pigment pigmented. <laughs> Let's put this on our eyes. I'm going to try to go in with a really light hand and we're just going to build this up, blend it all out. So it's blending out really nicely. Um, it didn't get too, too patchy. It did a tiny bit when I first placed it on my eye, but I was able to blend that out. I cannot get over how powdery that was. Oh my gosh. Okay, next we're gonna take a little bit more denser of a brush and we're going to go in with that same shade. We're going to pack that on the outer corner and also up into the crease. What I like about my other pack quad is that the matte in there, I can make it look like multiple shades by layering it up. If I just go in with a little tiny bit, it just diffuses it really nicely. Then if I go in and pack more on like this, it can make it look like it's two shades in the same family, but it's the same one. So um, I'm hoping I can do that here, but doesn't really seem to be looking much different. Okay, um, <laughs> I don't love this matte. I don't love this matte. It's not looking like two different shades like the other one, which is fine. I don't usually expect matte shades to be able to do that, but because my other Pat McGrath quad is like that, I was kind of hoping that this one would be like this. But as I'm like packing this on, it's just kind of getting a little bit patchy, just a little bit, nothing terrible. It's not performing like I would anticipate it. If you can see right here, it's just getting like a tiny, tiny bit patchy. Okay, so next I'm gonna take my NYX glitter primer and we're going to put that all over my lid. And we're going to take this shade on the inner half and this shade on the outer half. So this one is Cyber Bronze and this one is Sienna Rose. These just feel really, really thick, like really thick shimmers. Although that is, that's pretty, that's a pretty shade. And then we're just gonna put this Sienna Rose on the outer half. I feel like this Sienna Rose shade is looking almost bronzy, even though the goldy one is the one that's called bronze. <sighs> Guys, I'm a little bummed with this palette. 
Okay, so just so I can say that I use all four shades, I am going to go ahead and take this lighter one, which is Lunar Legend, and we're just going to tap that in the middle. And then this one is so thin and almost like, I don't know, almost like way less pigmented than the other two. Did that do anything? Do you guys see a difference? <laughs> I don't think that did much. I'm going to add a little bit more of that rose shade out here. And then we're going to go back with the matte. So that's the eye. I don't love it. I don't love it. Um, I don't know. I just feel like I could get this eye look with a ton of other palettes. I just don't think I needed this one for $54. I mean, again, I got the 10% off, but still, that's a lot of money for this eye look. Like, at least with this quad i feel like this is special in my collection again this matte can look like two or three different shades depending on how you blend it out and pack it on your eye this is super reflective and beautiful like i said this one is a nice like shift from cranberry to gold and this is just a stunning shade so this i do think is worth it in my collection and i do love it this one i just i don't know i'm just really not impressed with it so far this eye look is nothing special the shimmers weren't super crazy the matte kind of got patchy and i love it but we're going to we're going to move on i'm going to go do quite a few things off camera i'm going to go do the other eye my foundation concealer powder bronzer probably brows and then we will come back and we will try out the trio i am just insanely excited for this like it's not even funny i'm hoping i love this with my whole heart we shall see so i will go do all those other steps and I'll be back to keep this train rolling. Alrighty, we are going to move on now to trying out the trio. This is probably the thing I'm most excited about, not going to lie. Again, this is the Divine Blush and Glow Trio and I got Galactic Sun. There was another option that had two deeper blushes and a deeper highlight. So I love that Pat McGrath always has very good options for all sort of skin type skin tones i think that is lovely of her so i'm super excited to try this out i think i'm gonna try well let's do swatches first here is the first blush which this is the shade divine rose here to swatch on my hand right there that is a beautiful beautiful shade the next one is called desert orchid Oh, this looks like a really beautiful, like, burnt orange shade. Yeah, that's going to be stunning on the cheeks. And then the highlight, ooh, that is creamy and very soft. <laughs> this is called Golden Nectar. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's beautiful. I actually am afraid that might be a little bit dark on my skin tone. Hopefully not. Ooh, hopefully not. But um, I've never tried a Pat McGrath highlight. So let's start off with the highlight first. So we're just going to dip right in. There is quite a bit of kick up in the pan. You probably couldn't see on camera at all, but it definitely picked up like a lot on my brush. I went ahead and tapped off a little bit of the excess. So let's put this on. Ooh, that is really pretty. It's definitely a little bit more golden than I was anticipating in the pan. It looks a little bit like champagne-y, but it's definitely showing up golden on my face, which I don't mind. I mean, I like golden highlight. I probably would have preferred a more champagne-y one, but it's not the end of the world. That is really pretty. I actually, is it a little dark? Oh, shoot. I feel like there is a tiny bit of cast. Like There's not a cast here, and there's a tiny bit one here, but that's not the end of the world. I also am very, very fair right now. In the summertime, when I use my fake tanner and I wear a little bit deeper of a foundation, I think that this highlight would work out a little bit better for me then. So if I have to only wear this during the summer, I mean... That kind of stinks because I spent like $54 on this trio. So that'll stink if I can't, you know, use it all year round. But I don't know. Yeah, it definitely it definitely does give me a little bit of a cast. But that is really pretty though. Like super blinding. I like that shade and I like the formula. I don't think it's my favorite highlight formula ever. Like there's definitely ones that look a little bit creamier on my skin that I just tend to like better. But that is really, really pretty. And the fact that it came in the trio I thought was really nice. So moving on to the blushes, I figure I would just put one on each cheek and then afterwards try to make it blend together and make it look the same. So I'm gonna start off with this one right here, which is Desert Rose. We're just going to dip my blush brush right in there. There is less kick up in the pan with this than with the highlight. So that was nice. So that's with one layer. You definitely can see it, but I am gonna build it up a little bit. 
Oh, that's really pretty. That's a really, really pretty shade. Wow. That is just like the most perfect rosy tone. Like it said, Desert Rose is the perfect name for it. It is just a really beautiful rosy hint of flush on the cheeks. That is a really, really beautiful shade. And that one doesn't seem to have any sort of shimmer in it. I think this is definitely one of her matte ones. I'm just going to wipe off my brush onto my towel so there's no transfer between the two of them. And then we're going to try out Desert Orchid. There is more kick up in the pan with Desert Orchid than there was with Divine Rose. Was I calling it Desert Rose? I kind of feel like that might have been. Divine Rose, Desert Orchid. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to put this on. That was with one layer. I'm gonna go in with another one. That shade, definitely my favorite. Definitely my favorite of the two. This is beautiful. This is stunning. I love this like burnt orange sort of shade. And this one is definitely one that has a little bit of sheen to it. It's one of her, I guess sheeny blushes. I'm not sure that like formulation she named it, but this is definitely more matte and this is definitely sheeny, but that is a beautiful, beautiful shade. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I probably would have rather just bought a full size of the Desert Orchid shade, but that's okay. I'm glad I got the trio. I'm glad that I was able to finally try out a highlight from her. And this Divine Rose shade is actually really beautiful. I think I will get use out of this one. Uh, maybe not with this eye look. I feel like with this eye look, I would have definitely paired this more orangey blush, but that's okay. I do think both are stunning on the cheeks. And like I said, her flirtatious shade is like one of my favorite blushes ever. So I'm super excited about that. So really quickly, I was just gonna finish up my eyes. So um, for the lower lash line, we're just gonna take the matte shade and we're gonna run it along there. I dipped in really lightly and I tapped off quite a bit of the excess because I don't want this to be too intense. And I know that this is gonna be too dark, but we're gonna go ahead and put that as my inner corner highlight. Yeah, okay, this is like a really chunky shade. I don't know if you can see there, you probably can't, but it is like not opaque. It looks like chunky on my inner corner. And then that side didn't, uh, what, hello? That's like not even showing up. We're gonna dip into my other quad and we're just going to use the um, lightest shade from there as my inner corner highlight because this one works really well for that. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead, finish up my makeup. I don't have a ton more to do. I'm just going to do some mascara and some setting spray, and I will be back for my final thoughts. Alrighty, makeup is complete. So if you are curious about anything else on my face, any other items that I used, like always, I will have them linked down below in the description box for you. So wrapping up my thoughts, I I don't like this squad. Um, is it is it a pretty look? Yes, for sure. Is it anything special? No. But I get this same look with probably like 17 other eyeshadow palettes. Maybe that's an exaggeration. Yeah, I could. It's just a nudie rose sort of matte color and some, you know, pink and gold shimmers. I just don't think that this is anything special. This shade is like chunky and barely shows up. It's not very opaque at all. I mean, it looks kind of intense there, but I mean, you guys saw me trying to put on my inner corner. It barely showed up. This got slightly patchy on me. These are just really thick and chunky. I had a lot of fallout on my face from them. This is not fit worth $54 in my opinion. I am almost uh, regretting buying it and I hate to say this, please don't get mad at me. I might return it. And I really, 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 really do not like returning makeup. I know I say that all the time, but like I, I'm i not in the financial position to keep a $54 eyeshadow palette that I don't love. If I was a huge you know, YouTuber and I was making a ton of money on YouTube and I could afford that, I would keep this and I would give it to a friend or I would do something with it. And I haven't fully decided, but I am like really, really, really bummed out by this and really disappointed. So that's such a bummer. I was super excited about this. I am hoping that I like this Lusty Odyssey bigger palette way more than this one. I have a feeling I will because there's just a ton more color options and textures and shades and hopefully I like that one more. I will do a video on it whenever it comes in the mail. I don't like this. I don't recommend this at all. I don't know about the other quad. I don't know if the other quad is better or anything like that, but this one, again, this is a bronze Borealis one. I don't recommend at all. The trio, I like. I feel like I wish I, like I said earlier, I wish I would have just caught in the single of the Desert Orchid shade, but I am glad I picked this up. I am glad that I was able to try two more blush shades and the highlight. Again, I think the highlight's slightly dark for me, but that's okay, it's not the end of the world. And these two blushes really are truly stunning. I love the Pat McGrath blush formula. 
if you do not want to spend the 50, I think $4 or maybe 50, I don't remember how much this was. Um, but if you do not want to spend that much, just her single blushes are 38. It's, you know, it's less money, but you're also only getting one shade versus three, but also the compact and the amount is larger. So it's kind of up to you and what you, you know, want to spend, but the packaging is absolutely stunning on this. I like how just like slim and sleek this is. I am glad that I picked this up. I think this is beautiful. And I think if you want to try the blush formula and highlight formula, this is definitely a good option for you because you get three to try out. So that was it, you guys. That was my uh, first impression, my thoughts on the new Pat McGrath quad and trio from her holiday collection. Did you pick anything up? Let me know down below in the comments if you picked anything up from this collection. There was a couple other things. There was another quad, the bigger eyeshadow palette, um, another trio, a single highlight. I think that might've been all. And then maybe some lippies. I'm not entirely sure. So. Let me know down below if you picked anything up. Um, also, let me know what you think about the items I tried today. Are you just as unimpressed with the eyeshadow palette as me? Or were you like, Emily, you're crazy. That looks stunning. Like, I love this. I'm about to go buy it. Let me know. So, yeah, I'm sorry this was a little bit of a bummer, a little bit of a Debbie Downer um, video. I was, I was expecting to love this quad, and I just didn't, sadly. So, what a bummer. That's okay, though. That sometimes makeup just doesn't work out. Not the end of the world. Other than that, though, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. You're truly awesome, and I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, guys.